It all started when Dave Reynolds saw a picture of the, um, the circular board and thought, oh, that's a good idea. And so he made one up and um, took on an unsuspecting passers-by and it developed from there. It was in 1982, um, brought the cardboard version down to the local pub, um, started playing with a few friends and they thought it was a good idea. There is a historical precedent uh, for it. Um, if circular chess had become the, the, the main uh, way of playing chess and we were suddenly to start playing chess on a square board, um, having found some reference to a square, um, a square board in, in a, a history of chess, then uh, perhaps people would say, well, that really is rather eccentric. But it's not, it's just different. And it's, it's new, it, it contains some, uh, some uh, interesting variations, uh, particularly as far as the, the strength of the rooks are concerned, and we'll see how it, how it goes. The basic moves are exactly the same. Um, the strategy is a little bit different. Um, as you can see from the board, then the pieces can go round in both directions, and in fact, given a, a free file, the rook can go all the way around. It's something like six foot. So it's very dynamic, um, and the bishops, even though they go diagonally, it's not quite a diagonal, it's more elliptical. And so it, it makes it very difficult to actually work out exactly what is going on. It's very easy to get caught out, um, especially with, say, the knights, because that can move from there to there, which is a distance of, say, that much, or from there to there, which is that much. The game is best played standing up. So you've got almost a bird's eye view of the table. 